Hello, this is Jennifer, and today I want to show you how to set up your AWeber account. You'll go to aweber.com. This will be your landing page that you enter your um, account uh, if you don't have one. Uh, you should be able to get started right here. And then we log in. All right, this will be your, um, your home page. Once you log in, you'll need to go and set up your account. So first you want to go right here to your name and then under there, you want to go into your account, uh, fill out your information, save, and then the same way with the billing. Now, on your notifications that if you want to send yourself an email when someone opts into your list, this will be where you'll put your email address that you'll want to do. And then, of course, you know, you've got your manage, your password. Um, if you're just getting set up, you'll need to click on your email and then, of course, change it um, into a password that you can remember. So, this would be the home uh panel here. You'll see if you've got accounts, it's an overview, it shows you who's subscribed to you today, how many is open, the clicks of the broadcast, your different list, and this. Okay? In order to create a new list, you can either go to the top, or this. So let's create a new list. Okay, all this will be the same for me because I've got it set up. You should also, um, if you don't, then you'll need to take this. So, we're going to name this one the HBS. <clears throat> then we want to go next. With this, it doesn't matter because they're not going to have an opt-in, and I'll show you why in a moment. So we're going to create, we're going to just go ahead and approve it and create the list. Once you create the list, you'll want to go into your list options. You'll go to your list settings. Now, whatever list that you're wanting to work on, it will be in this little drop-down area here where I'm circling. And then you have your different variety ones once you start creating your own list. So this is the HBS, okay? So we're going to leave this. Um, I'm not going to turn on my notification simply because this is going to be after a person opts in to uh, a live event summit. So this will be after they purchase one of the other from another list. So, but... So this would be that you would add here if we was going to add it. <clears throat> the same thing with this. Okay. The important portion is it is that you don't want people to opt into a second time in your email. It's very aggravating to a lot of people. And you lose um, some subscribers, they have to reconfirm. So this we need to turn off, and then we just hit save. Okay, so another thing too is that you want to connect to your accounts, your WordPress, any of these other things that... Um, you may have going through, like I have my Facebook, I have all my social media attached um, to my email list. So if I want to broadcast, I can, um, a message. So, <clears throat> if you're going to create a follow-up email series, you'll want to go to the Legacy Follow-Up Series, okay? And this is what it'll look like. So what we want to do is create a message. Okay, 
this will be the basic generic message um, you know with this again I'm not going to uh, have emails for them to receive other than broadcasting emails on this so I'm just going to come out of this another thing that you can do is that anything that you do with writing something say I just created that I didn't do anything but it just it pulled up so if I was to click on it again it takes me right back okay if you have created a message for your email then you would want to copy this to whatever list that you're working with say it, it would be the HBS and then you can also and then you would copy to that list and then if you can also add it to it so if you do the copy and I forget to add it it's just going to copy it it's not going to add it so you want to always add it and let me show you some of my other and see so here here you you create your message just like this and then <clears throat> you just save it now this person that opts into my seven dollar trial will get 11 emails from me okay now if I want to share a code with you then we can share it and then we would provide you with a code and you would just load it up in your campaign right here um, and then you would have copies of our emails my emails um, and we can do this for everything so in order to broadcast of course you would go to broadcast drop and this one's just going to be test okay and I'm just going to leave everything together so we save and exit it again it goes back into the draft so now it's saying you know we're going to send a test email or we want to schedule a broadcast so if we was to create the a, a message and you wanted to share the message then you would be able to do this and then you can also edit who you want to receive it and the ones that are I mean it's very versatile so uh, just play around with it and then you will schedule it and it would go out and it usually takes about a couple of seconds uh, for it to complete and then everybody that you checked for your email will be receiving that email and then again with broadcast see like this right here I saw that I had 36 subscribers and four opened them one clicked on the link nobody complained and it didn't bounce and same way with this um, it was a webinar that I broadcast so you have to just play around with it so it's very it's very simple and everything like that so if you want to create a sign up form same way you create that and then this is something that you would um, it's an HML code that would be put into um, maybe your WordPress site or a landing page um, so you just configure it the way that you want to and you just edit it um, off the sides you know and then also you can create and add fields over here same thing so you let's just save next step um, you can name it and then see this will this is the uh, code that you would have or either the this one that you would put onto your page and then whoever was to opt in to your landing page will receive this particular email from that particular list due to these this form 
So I hope that this is helpful, and um, if you have any more questions, please just reach out to me.